Hello friends, welcome to yet another important topic in ophthalmology. We have done a, quite a few talks on red eyes so far. Today I am going to tell you how to approach a question on red eye in your exams. Before we start with the talk, we appreciate your likes, shares and comments about our all presentations. I would be extremely thankful if you could do like, share and comment on this presentation as well. Red eye is a very common exam scenario. Red flag signs means the signs which suggest that this red eye is not something which is usual and it can be vision threatening. The main structures which cause vision threatening red eye are any pathology in the cornea like keratitis or a corneal ulcer, any anterior uveal pathology like iritis, any scleral pathology like scleritis or any pathology related to an intraocular pressure like glaucoma. So look at four structures when you are approaching a red eye like that is cornea iris sclera and pressure the main clue for glaucoma as a diagnosis is an elderly patient brought to the hospital with the severe painful loss of vision associated with nausea vomiting and headache this is the worst pain that patient might have experienced in their lifetime when you examine the eye will be red cornea may be hazy because of corneal edema pupil will be vertically oval semi dilated non-reactive and when you feel the eye the eye feels stony hard these are some of the clues for glaucoma another very common exam scenario is keratitis or the corneal problem the main clues are a young patient who normally wears contact lenses presents with unilateral painful red eye associated with intolerance to the light the vision may or may not be affected in the early stages but it is a potentially blinding condition when you examine there may be a white area in the cornea which basically is an ulcer or a corneal infiltrate again the most important clue would be history of contact lens use the typical history in iritis that is anterior uveitis would be a young patient with a recurrent history of redness painful eye there may be a background history of ankylosing spondylitis that is back pain or other collagen disorders on examination the eye will be red especially around the cornea and the pupil may be distorted or constricted and irregular from previous attacks scleritis is again a very very painful condition and is potentially blinding most commonly it is associated with other autoimmune systemic disorders like rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus this can be seen in age group of 30 to 60 years it can be necrotic or it can be non necrotizing again a very potentially blinding condition a couple of other conditions which can cause red eye which are generally painless and are not blinding are conjunctivitis which can bacterial viral and the other thing is subconjunctival hemorrhage which can be seen in elderly patients especially with hypertension or even post trauma in any age group don't forget these are not blinding unless they are complicated by other pathologies like involvement of the cornea so when is red eye at risk of loss of vision 
when there is associated pain or when there is associated reduced vision or in history there is history of injury to the eye or history of fall of acid or alkaline to the eye a red eye in a neonate is again a very important risk factor for loss of vision because especially the gonococcal conjunctivitis can lead to blindness within few days please do listen to my previous talks on red eyes to understand the different terminologies that we use in red eyes to understand the various conditions better i welcome your comments suggestions likes and shares about this talk once again thanks a lot from your all on and lot team